Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another C++ video. I know you guys were excited for this one to drop. Um, I could feel the anticipation across the internet uh, just waiting for me to release this. Anyway, um, today we're going to do a little practice problem that I have made up on my own. So <laughs> This is either going to be a hit or a miss. Um, but what we're going to do in this practice problem is we're going to use a vector and we are going to ask the user to enter five integers and then we will sort that and then display it to the user and I also want to show you one more thing about vectors um, that we can do um, so if you don't recall which I hope you do but in order to make a vector of ints we would do this and I'm just gonna name it vec um, and you might be asking yourself Brandon why didn't you put a size right here. Uh, that is because I am going to use a different method to insert values into this vector, not by the usual vec, you know, i if we were doing a for loop. I'm going to do what's called push back. So push back, what it does, let's say we push back 2, it'll push this to the back of the vector. Um, so whenever it does this, it expands the vector and you know it puts that in there. So we don't even need to make the size because it'll expand on its own. So what was I going to do? Oh. Okay, so we're gonna make an int, gosh, I cannot spell, named input. This is for the user to input, and then we're gonna do the basic for loop. I equals zero. Um, we're going to do five. You know, you can do it however many you want. Uh, if you're doing this on your own, I'm just doing five for this. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, and also, I should probably put out something like this: enter five ints with uh, well hitting enter after each just so you can kind of let the user know, hey, you have to hit enter after each integer is typed. You can't just hit five space, whoops, I didn't mean to actually hit it, five space, you know, 89 space, no, you have to hit enter. So now we're going to see in to the input, jeez, Louise. Um, see in to the input, and then we're going to push that back. So vec dot push. And if you're using code blocks, this will automatically pop up as we can see. So I'm just going to hit enter. Voila. And we're going to push input into it. So we're going to enter into input. And then we're going to push input into this vector. Um, pretty cool. Now we need to sort it. Now how do we do that quickly? You know, we're not going to write this function on our own. There's actually a function um, that we can use. So we have to actually hash include algorithm. And that allows us to use the sort function. So we go sort. And then we put in the parameters. We need two. We need where to begin and where to end. So I'm going to start at vec.begin. I'm using vec because that's the name of the vector. Dot begin, it's pointing to the beginning of the vector. And vec.end. So it's starting at the beginning, it's ending at the end. Pretty self explanatory, right? Now what we can do, so I'm just going to copy this so we can display it to the user. After it's sorted, we can say, wow, you did a great job. Um, I'm just going to put a space in between each one. So that'll do it. Now, wait for that to build. Oh, what's this? Request. Okay, so I saw the problem. Uh, the problem being that when we made the vector, I did this. We actually don't need that at all. We just declare it like so. Um, so, we don't do any parameters when we create this if we're using the pushback. Um, but if we're using size, of course, we're going to do this. So it's going to have a size of 
whatever. So now it shall work. There we go. So we're going to enter five ints. Actually, before I do this, I'm going to make this font a little larger. Let's do 18. There we go. So let's do 52. Enter 35, 2, 13, and 15. And there we go. 2, 13, 15, 35, and 52. That is all sorted now. So now we are good to go. And that is a little practice problem. And we got to use sort, and we got to use the new pushback function um, for vectors. So pretty cool if I don't say so myself, or if I do say so myself. <laughs> Why would I not say it when I just did? I don't know. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I love you. Um, hopefully that doesn't freak you out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'll see you next time. Peace out.